So men with high interests are never going to really get the best out of a woman in most cases. You know, you got unicorns out there, but in most cases, women don't want what they can have. They don't want a man they can have. If they do deal with a man they can have, they're going to keep on driving them crazy. Women want that man that they feel like they can lose. They can lose at any minute. That's the one they're going to respect. They want to, the man that they feel like they, gonna, they can lose at any minute. That's the man that they're going to respect. That's the man they're going to run after and give the best sex to. That's the man that they're going to give the best sex to, the man that they... So, they formula is real tricky because they're always dealing with somebody. They always want to respect somebody that's really not into them. Or they feel like they can, they can lose at any minute. It don't mean he's better. He's just not showing them attention. In their mind, they think you're better if you're not showing them attention they take it as well you must be better than me if you if you're not into me i mean you're better than me you know that's how their mind work so that's how they you find women be single so much you know you find women to be single you know because they always look chasing after somebody that's married Somebody that got a girlfriend, somebody, somebody that's dating a lot of women, or somebody who's just not into them. All of those situ situations I just named equals to not being really into them. If a man is married, if a man is married, he's not going to be into them that much. If a man is got a girlfriend, he's not going to be into them that much. She can be into him, but all his attention is not going to be on her. So it puts her in a position to work for his work for his attention. It puts her in a position to challenge. It puts her in a position to challenge. And that's what it's all about, the challenge. I heard girls tell me they, they, you know, they done done stuff for other guys that they never done for their husbands in all kinds of sacrifices, sexual sacrifices, uh, financial sacrifices, uh, all kinds of going out the way, situation sacrifices. You'd be surprised what people would do for strangers than the people who actually really care for them or putting in time for them. We live in a world where people will sacrifice their life for somebody who don't really love them. You know, they got to get real bruised up and used up or old and hit the wall. And then they'll say they can want a good man. But by that time, their body is not the same. Their looks is not the same. Their energy is not the same. They done done a lot of sexual activity by that time. You know, by that time, they done done a lot, a lot of sexual activity. They done had a lot of experiences. They have a lot of emotional damage. And there's nothing new under the sun for them. So if there's nothing new under the sun for them, you know, it's not nothing spontaneous. They done done everything. They bored with everything. At this point, they just want a peace of mind. But by that time, they don't look the same. They vaginal has been worn out. They um, they scarred. They comparing you. You know, even if they're nice, it's just like they know that they hit. They got a really been on hit the wall with their body. Their backside is droopy. Their chest is droopy. They face don't have no innocence left in it. No. No vibrant youth left in it at all. So that's when they'll act right. They'll act nice and submissive and and very easy going. You know, once they um you know, very submissive and easy going once they once they hit the wall. They gotta really hit that wall hard though. 
Cause it's a, some women, you know, they get delusional because as they, some women as they get older, they face get old, but their body stay pretty tight and young. So they still think they can get a, <laughs> a rich guy or a young guy or somebody that's still of some kind of value. Um, but it don't ever go that way. Eventually, once they butt drop, then they end up getting dealing with somebody who just like them. Or they got as real old, old military guy or something. They want. It's a selfish game, you know. It's a selfish game that a lot of, a lot of women fall in that trap, man. It's a selfish game that a lot of women fall in that trap. You know, um, it's sad, but yeah. So all I got to say is, don't be that guy that's going to chase, that's going to chase women and, or if you can chase them, but don't. Don't give too, don't give too much energy, man. Step back and relax. Once you meet them, chill. You ain't gotta talk a lot. If they don't, you ain't gotta. I don't care how much interest they show. Just stay calm, man. Let them come all the way to you. Let them come all the way to you. Because other than that, they're gonna be in control. They're not gonna respect you, and that's not their nature. They're, women can't handle power. You know, they abuse power. I mean, you know, you got corny guys that abuse it too, but women really don't have no, they, will, they don't really, the more you like them, the more they hate you. The, the, more, the less respect they have for you in most cases. In most cases, the more you really into a woman, the more she's going to feel sorry for you. It look like you're doing something wrong and always find fault in you. The better you treat her, the more she's going to find fault in you. And then, when she finds fault in you, you're going to be wondering what's going on because you know you're doing everything you can do to try to make her happy and to... Because you might care about her or something, but she don't really care about you like that. You know? That's the type of world we live in where it's not about you, it's about them, you know. You give them the world and they'll give you a couple of slices of cake when they want to give you a couple of slices of cake. It's all in their hands. It's, uh, I don't care if they in the church or not. They all, at the end of the day, they're going to want to know, make sure they get more of the deal and they're going to know your finances. And It's a sad game, you know. But the guy who really don't care, the guy who really don't care, they're not going to be as picky. They're going to let a lot of stuff slide with the guy who really don't care. But the guy who care but make a mistake, he have to walk on eggshells. So if he care, make a, the fact that he care, and he make, she's going to be harder on the man who care than the man who don't care. The man who don't care can make more mistakes than the man who care. I hope you're listening to what I'm saying to you. I know I'm tired and I got a lot of my words of this and that, but I'm pretty clear. Hopefully you hear me. I know I kind of jump over here and jump over there, but it's, a, it's just a design. But it all makes sense. This world don't respect the nice... They don't respect the attainable. They respect the unattainable. As the, the moment somebody think they can have you, is the moment the respect level is going to go down. I need a haircut. But I don't care. Because as long as you got money, you can, your head can look like Kevin Durant. It can be going bald and everything. Women still will suck the dirt out your toenails. As long as you got money. When you got money, you don't have to worry about your looks. Look in the magazines. Look on TV. 
once, uh, you know, was people was calling funny looking people. They was calling funny people that that ug word. I can't say it on here, but once them funny looking people start getting money, women start going after funny looking men. Funny looking men. I'm Alan Williams, the millionaire, y'all. Basically, you just can't care. When you don't care, people think you don't need them. They treat you better, especially women. It works for everybody. But anyway, Rillion and Nation, we out. Hit the bell, hit the like, subscribe, and check out the next video. Much love to you. I never knew it was something really out here that can actually make your dick a little bigger and your, your dick thicker. I mean, I never, I just never could understand. I never could fathom something that really can do that. I've been eating this shit, man, from the store every day, and I just happen to like it. But I didn't realize that. I said, man, why the fuck is all it? My stomach getting flatter, and unnecessary fat that I had on my body is disappearing, and I noticed that. My dick got longer, and my dick got thicker. What the fuck going on here? I started thinking, what have I been doing different? Come to find out, it's that shit I've been eating. If you want to know what I've been eating, message me, it's $20. Message me on Instagram at Allery in that show, all right? And I tell you, this shit is wild, man. Allery Brilliant there, that's my guy, man. He's a trophy, he wasn't lying, man. Like, really works? I ain't gonna put you on. You gotta do what I did to get on, but definitely gonna get them gains. You might have to tuck your jump off under your belt by your belly button because you're gonna be walking around with a heart on. <sighs> you wasn't lying, bro. Definitely works. Go check my man out, Allen Aurelian there. One. Hey guys, I've been getting emails about uh, guys that took my hand bone remedy uh, that it's working for them as well. You know, I originally told you guys it was working for me, but it's working for guys from all over the world. So hurry up and message me on Instagram at Allery and this show if you want that remedy. It's good for your overall health as well, as well as your hand bone, your dick, so you can dick and grow and be strong and healthy, and you can please the woman you love. Allen Ray and this show on Instagram. What's up? This your boy, Soldier Boy. Make sure y'all check out my boy Pookie, man. And Ray Ray really in that dance challenge videos on TikTok, man. Song five, man. Check him out ASAP, man. Check out my main man, Alan Ray in that YouTube channel. Let's get it.
right back to you Talk to masculinity, they want the real men die Men and women equal devil, told the big fat lie Can't stand the sight of pettiness like eyes are sprayed with maze What you do for a living type of girl in such a ways Finally got married, got three wives in my lifetime The Lord blessed me with them, get unlimited behind and When my kids grow up, they gon' make statue on the shrine Most of y'all are living in the matrix, you are blind I must be having sick because the devil left me hard But who can be against me?